Koozie Project is a stand-up paddleboarding, kite surfing adventure. We are using the Kusini Tradewind to power us from island to island and utilizing this wind in every way possible. Cool things just have the tendency to happen on an adventure and you just never know where you're going to end up the next day. We found ourselves right in front of the Ebo Island Lodge. We were going to be fine dining and living in a bit of luxury for the, for the next couple of days. And it was just like, yeah, what? It's like going 200 years back in time. This was like a, a big settlement during the slave trade in the 1700s. There's no other place like this anywhere in this region. It's almost like a ghost town. There's a lot of old buildings and there's so much history behind this place. It's definitely quite an experience to be here. Somewhere between Kasiwi and Mfungbu Island, I, I was bitten by some kind of a spider. It started out just being like not so bad, and then suddenly I woke up and my entire leg swelled up nearly twice size as my other leg. Yeah, being in a place like this and being so far out here, it's definitely it's a little scary to think about like what could happen with uh, you know if things were to go south. Luckily, I was able to find uh, a nurse here who was able to get me some proper drugs and I'm back on the road to recovery. We're leaving tomorrow. We're gonna go hit up the sandbars on our way to Matemo Island. I really think the uh, adventure is just getting going here. Deep down, I knew that leaving the comfort of Ebo Island was a bad idea. My knee was not getting better at all. I woke up to find Seth awake, who hadn't slept the entire night. The spider bites seemed to have gotten a lot worse overnight. One of the local guys who was based at the camp was just adamant on getting the poison and pus up. I told him I had to go paddling today and he's like, all right, <laughs> let's get you ready. This guy was squeezing, I thought, a bit too hard. It just proceeded to get worse, so um, Seth decided to, to actually head back to Ebo that same day. Luckily, one of their boats was heading by from Matemo. Seth was actually uh, bitten by a violent spider, and um, us not knowing that, you know, was the reason we kind of 
let it go on for as long as we did. Since I left the island, it's been like boats, trucks, planes, sleeping on different people's couches, and like all the while I'm just like developing a worse and worse fever. My wounds are going septic. It's like spreading up my leg. And just get in the situation where you're like, how the hell did I get here? Adventures like these, things do go wrong and on the uh, Koozie project it was a venomous spider which got us. In the end I saw five different doctors that put me on eight different kinds of antibiotics and I received over a dozen injections. I was forced to return to the States for further treatment and it took me over two months to fully recover. It's always good to go back to the drawing board and see what else is around the next corner and see what other plans we can put together to make another amazing adventure.